Hi, hopefuls. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing great. So today I want to share with you all of the supplies that I needed for interior design, classes that I am taking. It is a lot. Um, I recorded this a long time ago, so I just did an intro. I'm doing an intro now of it. And some of the things are optional. You do not need them. And then some things were required that were on the syllabus. So just keep that in mind. And um, I will make sure to put links to everything that I can find. It will be in my Amazon storefront. But um, just go by what your instructors say you need. Um, I know some of my classmates, they just waited until um, that assignment was you know, do at that time and they needed it or whatever. It is quite pricey, y'all. So just pace yourself. Um, I am thankful that I was fortunate to get my supplies that I needed. Um, my school also, though, gave us the option. A lot of times they had supplies for us. Um, yeah, they had supplies for us. Like if we didn't have it, like foam board, um, not everything, but we may use the foam board from another previous project from another student um, or mat board or cutters or some kind of uh, what we were supposed to have our supplies um, with us every day. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just let me know. And thanks so much for watching. Bye. Good morning, hopefuls. So today is Saturday. I'm going to try to put this one up. I still have a lot of videos, y'all. I should have started like um two weeks ago of trying to edit the videos and stuff. But I have for back to school. I'm going to school for interior design and business administration slash project management. Why two? Because I wanted to do business administration for a little while. Interior design, I enjoy I enjoy the whole aspect, even though there is a difference of interior design and interior decorating. So I don't know if some people know that or not. But anyway, y'all, let's get started with this. All right, hopefully. So one of the lunch bags that I have that I originally got first, I have downstairs. So I think I have it in a separate video, but I will sh make sure I get a clip of that. So I got this book bag off of Amazon. I absolutely love it. I loved it before I even got it in person. Loved it even more when I got it, got it in person. It has like this fabric that you can easily wipe off. And I love all the pockets. It just looks so adult and chic. And I just, I just love it, y'all. So they have other colors too. I think it was about... Ooh, I don't remember, $40 or something like that. I got the larger one, so it's two different sizes. I think eventually, I don't know, I'm just my mama child. <laughs> if you know if you know my mama, she, um, my aunt, I know she's probably grinning. She likes multiples. She likes her little accessories. She likes her stuff to match. She'll buy stuff even with, you know, a wallet just to go with a coach bag. I'm just my mama child, so I think I want a pink one like this. But anyway, y'all, let me see if I can. I don't even have to try to set it up. Um, so I have, let's see, a pocket in here. It's really good quality, y'all. It has a pocket here. Let's see, y'all can show y'all pretty good without the tripod. Um, it's a pocket in the front here. I'm gonna unzip that, stop the camera, and unzip that. It's a pocket on the side. And then here you can charge your you can charge your laptop without taking it out of the bag. So I thought it was super cute. So you can't put this in the washing machine. And then I think, yeah, I'm gonna have to pause it to really show y'all. And then over here, you can put like some wipes or some tissues over here or another water bottle. Then, um, here's a pocket back here in the back and a zipper here. And I just love it, y'all. It's so, I can't wait. Um, I wanted an in-person class and I was like, I gotta have an in-person class just for my book bag. But really, I just wanted an in-person class to really feel like I was in school. But then, you know, the introvert in me just wanted to take everything online. But, um, I don't know, y'all. Okay. I didn't even realize that this was here. 
I don't know what I was thinking. Probably because when I got it, we um, it was our anniversary anniversary weekend, and I grabbed it and took it with us to the hotel. So I didn't even realize that. So that's two different pockets, y'all. So if you want to take like your tablet with you as well, um, let's see if I can open up this one. Read a text messages from my mom. <laughs> my mama. Let's see. That pocket. And let's open this one. Pocket, y'all. And you have all of these. This pocket here. You have this pocket here. This pocket here. This is great for a college student. Even a, you know, a high school student. They have all different, all different colors. So I probably get another one just to switch up, but I like this. I like it so much, and it's really good quality. I guess this is kind of back to school, y'all. I'm trying to clean my craft room, so it's a mess. So I have this just sitting here. Let's see. I probably I know I will use this. So I got this from Girl Plus God with Crystal Lee, and um. She's on Instagram and so she sells t-shirts. She was on the Willie Moore Jr. show as one of the co-hosts. And so, anyway, this is a smaller sleeve. And I didn't have one when we went somewhere. Great Wolf Lodge. I didn't have one for my MacBook. And so, I ordered one. I think it was like $20, y'all. So, that will be part of my um, back to school. I'll make sure I put that in my sleeve, in my bag. Okay, y'all. So, I got this from Target. Um, I just, I wanted to support, um, Tabitha Brown. I love Tabitha Brown. And so I grabbed this. I think it was only $10. So really super cute, but I already had a lunch bag. I don't need too much things, but just in case I'm out and about and, um, or I have my, I don't know if I have something planned that day and I take my cold pack and my food with me so that I won't be tempted to just eat whatever and go off of my plan with e2m okay and then if you don't know what i'm talking about with e2m fitness i'll make sure i put a video above that we're currently on to lose weight okay so i did get this from the happy planner and actually i do need to pull out my happy planners i didn't bring it over here recently i love the leopard print so i grabbed that that's a pencil pouch and then i already had this from gold mine and coco so if we need like other supplies such as like pens and pencils. I know y'all. I already had this one for probably a year or so, but I actually have this one here I got from Amazon. So I'll see if I could put a picture up. Well, it looks a little bit better. You can kind of tell what it is. Let me put this flap down so you can see. I just was cleaning my craft room and I saw the girls on it and I wanted to take this. So actually I can use this for something else. It doesn't have to be a pencil pouch. Let me open it up. I can use it as a tech bag as well. So, then this is what it looks like when you open it up. Um, I've heard that there will be some different tools that I need to buy, some pencils. I think they call them graphing pencils. I'm not sure. And maybe some markers, and they're really expensive. Okay, y'all. So, from the Happy Planner, I did get the study habits planner and I'm really just going to take I think I'm going to take the pages out and put in my main planner but then I don't want it to be too bulky but I don't have too many books that I will be taking with me so this layout looks like this is the monthly view um, let's see. they have this page in here and I did see this planner with a different color and scheme and stuff from at Walmart. But I think I didn't need I didn't need another one. I already had this one. So it's like an hourly planner. If you guys can see. So and then it just repeats. Make sure. Yeah. more neutral the other thing that i got was a notebook here so i need to get myself together 
because I didn't even take like the tags and stuff off. It just crept up on me, and I knew I should. I wanted to make sure I rested this um this summer, but time just went really quick because there's still some things I want to do. But it's like you know, I'll get it done. Okay, y'all. I'm trying to see if that was it. I think that's it. So I'm redoing this whole area. Um, actually, I just created this, not redoing it, sort of. So I went through a lot of planner stuff. It's probably still some stuff that I don't use. And some of the things that I had, like from the very beginning, I are gi I'm giving it to my little sister. I don't know if my niece is going to come and get it by the time she goes off to school. But I know my little sister was like, oh, I'm, I want, she's like, whatever Hopi that you have, I'll take it. So anyway, um, I separate what I did was in these containers. I'll talk about it later. I have my school section, like all my school stickers and sticker books. And then this is budget. And then this is um, fitness. So fitness stickers, sticker books. And anyway, I'll talk about it later. I need to label that. So let me pull this out so I can work on it and I still need to you know fix it but I'll share with you guys all of this when I fix it okay so I had to order some textbooks if you guys do not know um it's cheaper or it can be cheaper let me say it can um if you order from Amazon so I learned that years ago and you know I had to buy my pop my books out of pocket so um, I got design basics. This is for my design class. And I actually was going to take two in-person design classes. But, um, and this was the other book. This book was only $12. I can't remember how much it was in the bookstore. But I grabbed it. I'll need it next semester. So, I have this one. I ordered this one first. So I grabbed that one really quick. Now, hopefully they won't change the book. This book was, I know at the bookstore, like $171. I think it was like 80 something, 70 some dollars. Um, this book here. Crazy, y'all. Just one book. Then um, my project management book. I think this was close to 100, but was cheaper than the bookstore, y'all. I don't even remember. And then I had to get an access code. Y'all know, because everything's online. Um, I think it was like 40, 50 dollars with tax or something that's over there. Okay, guys, I got this utility cup magnetic storage thing and this is going to go on my board um up there so it can hold my pens and stuff like that pencils and stuff like that so i won't be actually i should have got two for downstairs because yesterday i was putting stuff on the board and i don't have nowhere to put those pens so i got this board eraser and this came from target y'all i'm sorry and let's see what else i got i got some more mile liners <laughs> i'm my mama child um normally i wouldn't have done that like got a separate pack of markers because i have some on my desk but um sometimes you don't want to take them out of your bag and put them on your desk and use them because i do use them in my bible and stuff like that so i went ahead and got um some more of these because i use them i got these from walmart i didn't realize they were so expensive y'all i don't know if it, they went up but i didn't realize they were so they're like 17 dollars. i want to say yeah i got some white out and i got this from it don't really matter, y'all. I think tar. Hmm, I forgot, y'all. Where did I get these from? I got some pencil pencils. I always say them like that. These from Dollar Tree. I think from Walmart, y'all. It don't even matter because y'all find them somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I got these from Walmart. These are one of my favorite pencils. So I don't like those rubber like pencils. I like them to be like wood. The rubber ones, like you kind of can bend them. So I've been like that ever since high school. Some Sharpies. I don't like my Sharpies to smear. So I got these. Even though I can use the mile liners, but this is um, brighter and they didn't cost that much. And is that it? I got a pencil sharpener. I um, I do have like a stockpile of stuff for the boys. So the boys don't need a whole lot of things. And I did have some blue pencil sharpeners up there from a stockpile from Staples. But I need to look through that stuff and see what we need to replenish before all that stuff goes off sale. 
And anyway, they had all the, they had, I didn't have nothing but blue pencil sharpeners and I didn't want a blue one. Okay, so I got this pinning gear. This is from Walmart. I don't know what I was thinking because it was cheaper to get them at Staples. I think this was like $3 and something. Um, and y'all, I didn't realize they don't have a lot of girls, a lot of girl colors. Because I'm so used to buying for boys. And I'm like, either they got them all, which I don't think so. I think they have a lot of blue and a lot of black and, of course, white. But white is neutral. But really, all of them are neutral. But they don't have a lot of, like, pink and, y'all know, the girl colors. So, anyway, they had this pink color. Um, it's kind of more like a... It has like purple in it, so it's not quite pink pink. And then I got this color at Target, and I should have left it there because it was like four or five dollars. And I but I wanted one with the clear, you know, I can put this the sheet down inside, but I should have left it there, y'all, because I just got excited when I saw a different color because um I forgot all about my staples, my go-to. So I did get this planner and I may should have left it there, but sometimes you just want a plain planner that you don't have to write. Um, you can just write your stuff in. So I got this one with lines. They had a large, smaller one as well. And I think this was like $9. And I like these two so you can um, put... You know, you put all your dates and stuff in there, and that's what I'm going to do. Like, homework assignments, I can just write it down in here, and it doesn't have, like, all the bulky rings and stuff like that. So, and you don't have to, I know your planner should just be whatever handwriting, which I do a lot of times, but sometimes you just want, you want it to be pretty, and you just want to jot it down. Okay, y'all, so I got a couple of notebooks. Um, I really don't know what's required of me to the first day of class, but I just got some notebooks. I almost forgot. I like this one in the colors, and I tried to get my binders to kind of match somewhat. So this is a five star, and I think this is a three subject. Did it say three subject? No, one subject. They also had another pattern, but I like that one there. Wait a minute. It was a composition book. So, But they did have the matching composition books of these, but I didn't get that. Um, I like wide rule, so I guess I just have to see. Oh, I got college rule right here. If my instructor, what they prefer, they may not care. Um, this is a three subject, and it's white. So I figured I could wipe this off. I need to do my nails. I'm trying to get them, let them to breathe because that gel just, it was making them strong, but it was making them weak at the same time. And I finally got them all off, but I want my nails to be cute for school. <laughs> it's extra, y'all. But anyway, let's see. But I don't feel like sitting in there. So I got the wide rule here. I meant to get wide rule in this one if they had it. Um, wide rule three subjects. So I got one for each subject. I like the color. And I don't remember how much they were, y'all. I want to say $3 and something. Then I got... Um, this 12 pocket organizer and I thought this was neat. I think this was $3 and something. So I can have one for each subject. It has a clear pocket here and then it has five, six tabs here. And is this a pocket too? No. I thought it was a sleeve. I'm sorry, y'all. And then a pocket here and then... It comes with the little sheets of paper you can slide down in there. So I thought I would separate that like notes, handout, sheet, um, notes, handouts, different things, y'all, for that. And you keep that for different subjects, I mean, different classes, so not just for this one class. So I thought that was really neat. Then, lastly, I got these folders, and I probably should have left them there. So, somebody went on to Target. I was just picking up stuff. This here, I was looking for the boys, and I went ahead and grabbed these folders. The green room. 
and this pink one. And that's it, y'all, that I can think of off the top of my head. But I know I'm missing something other than that lunch bag. Um, I have some stuff here for... I got this stuff before um, when I was trying to do like an interior design class online. Like, y'all know those self-paced classes? I guess I could share this. And some some of this stuff I may need. I did see this at the bookstore. Let me zoom back out. I did see this at the bookstore. Make sure it's the very similar. This is a furniture template. I may not need this in this particular class, but eventually. So if you can see really closely, let me see. Um, see, it has like the mattress sizes here, dresser, table, different things like that. I'm more, I'm more. Um, the color wheel. And I got all this in another class, so. Um, colored pencils, they gave me this, but I was listening to some girls that went to interior design their videos and stuff, and they were talking about these pencils or these markers or these cranks, something that were like $300, y'all. So I'm hoping I don't have an instructor that makes me get those expensive pencils. Um, here's some watercolors. I think these are paints. Oh, this is the school that I was trying to do online. And it was really good. It was good. I didn't get through it. Finish it. So. Alright, y'all. Then I got the transparent triangle. This here. This is a lot of thing at Dollar Tree. Paint palette. There's a smaller triangle. So I guess that's 10 inch. That might be 12 inches. No, this is 10. It's 4590 and this is 3060. That's the difference. Then I have a clear ruler here. I know I will need one of these. I remember using this. I can't even think what it's called. Is it an architect ruler? I don't remember, y'all. Uh, when I was in the sixth grade uh, in art class. So, I know when I was in middle school, they, which I think they should do with all the, well, my kids' school, that we had a, a class called Exploratory Wheel. So, we got a chance to explore all the different types of, like, arts. So, we went to band for, like, a couple of weeks. We went to theater for a couple of weeks. We went to art a couple of weeks. And that way, I can't remember chorus. I ended up picking chorus because I used to love the sing and being in the choir and stuff like that. And that way you get to explore what kind of things and arts that you really like to do. So I got a tape measure. I'm not looking forward to this because I tell you, when that thing snapped back, I remember they didn't hold that thing. I was trying to measure something, y'all. About took me out. Um, let's see. They gave me this and this. I don't even know what this is called. And then I think this is a ruler. I mean, an eraser. So, that's it, y'all. That is it that I can think of at the moment. I'm sure some other things I may grab or need later, but that's what I have in front of me. Okay, hopeful. So I'm going to add this to the other haul. I'm not going to talk a whole lot. I'm getting ready to go to bed and I don't want the video to be too long because y'all know I can talk. So I went to Staples and I ordered also some things from Amazon. I'll show you guys uh, supplies that I needed because the class has actually started today. So I was able to see the syllabus and the supply list. So I go in person. So I'll see what she says. So I ordered most of the things off of Amazon. Um, they're usually design stuff. So I did go to Staples and this was not a requirement, but I saw this. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I saw this on 
um, Shein. Shein had something similar to this, and I was like, oh, I wanted that, but I didn't press the trigger finger for ordering all the stuff off Shein, and actually, the stuff I ordered off Shein wasn't even clothes. It was like, you know, y'all know they got, like, really cheap phone cases and pop sockets and, um changing out your watch, you know, band and stuff like that. So, I don't really need that stuff. So, it's just been sitting there. So, anyway, I wanted this, y'all. This was one of the things on Shein. I don't know if that's a real pen. I guess it is. That one was $5. So, I thought that was neat. I like these pastel. Now, I was looking for something like this at Walmart and got those bright ones instead. So, I couldn't pass that up. That was $4.99. Um, and then I went ahead and got, well, this was on my supply list, glue sticks. And I got Sai Sai some. Um, Sai is my youngest son. And then I got him this crayon box because they won't but 119 That seems a little high, but I think that was right. Then why are my legs falling asleep? Probably because I got them locked. Um, I got three of these and it comes with a bonus sharpener, which I really didn't need. Kind of need it, but anyway. They were 99 cents, y'all. So I got three of those. Because y'all know how the kids do with those. And then I may need one for school. I don't know. But I'm sure I probably need the artist kind eventually. The prism. Is it prism colors? Something like that. I had to get the markers today. The black ones. I got some crayons. They were 50 cents. Um, I got some S S Expo markers. I got the skinny ones. Because my board over here, y'all. Um... The one, the board I have downstairs, I got those markers from Amazon. They came, like, with the whole, you know, magnet calendar and stuff. And I like that they're fine tip and I can, you know, change color code stuff. So, I got these. I should, probably should have went on Amazon um, because, I don't know. I guess because Amazon may have more colors and they, the ones I'm using downstairs has a magnetic um, attachment to it and it has like a little eraser on it too so anyway i did get i got some sorry y'all missed i'm tired <laughs> i got some graphite artist pencils i think that's what they're called or graphite drawing pencils um from staples but i got some off of amazon i went ahead and grabbed these just in case i needed them for class tomorrow they also come with this kneaded excuse my nails y'all rubber um eraser and i did order two of these so there is a artist store in raleigh and i may go one day but i think i'll be good i'll see what she says um because i don't know i get lazy on and dry so there's the other glue stick and then um i got these pink pearl and y'all been getting these for years and never realized it's a pink pearl on it or oh, I did, but didn't pay no mind like that. So, you know how they have supply lists and they have, like, the particular name of what you're needing. So, there you go. Pink Pearl. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Then, y'all, I thought this was really cute. Um, This uh, crayon sharpener. This was 99 cents. That was the only color. And then I did make an order for in Staples. Because he asked me, did I find everything? And I told him, well, I was looking for rubber cement. And I thought your store said you had it. But um, they didn't have it. So he ordered it for me. Um, because it said I may need some, well, that's on the supply list. Rubber cement or spray adhesive. And I did see that in the store. Y'all, spray adhesive is expensive. It's like $20. Now, I have some from Dollar Tree. So I may have, but I had that for a long time. I may... I need to go see if Dollar Tree has more, and then I want to kind of see if that still works, but I don't know, y'all. So, I got some construction paper. I got the big thing of construction paper, the 12 count, mm, 240 sheets with 12 colors. Um, This was $7. Yeah, I went ahead and got this because it got more colors. The other one had less sheets, and it only had eight colors i don't want to say or six colors so i got that so that's all that i got from staples i think y'all today i'll add the amazon stuff to um this all right hopeful so this these are the items that i have for my interior design class that was on the supply list for this week not everything has came from amazon 
but a lot of the things I ordered yesterday and it came super fast. So as the rest come, I will share. She did let me know that she may add more things to the supply list depending on the projects that we have that week. So I know I have to go back to Staples and get some tracing paper, which is also called trash paper. They may have it on Amazon, I can check and see. Um, but it seemed like I needed to go to Staples for something. I don't remember what it was. Okay, the first thing that I have are these circles. And these are actually look like ovals. But I went ahead and got them because it was a whole set. And it was good for the price. Um, so I had these little circles, these big circles. Our first project is with making different pictures out of circles. And then I have this big one here. And it's neat, it comes with a little pouch. If I can get it out, this big one. Okay, if you hear some sizzling, I'm making some salmon in the cast iron skillet behind me. And it's just in olive oil. <laughs> so it may sound like it's frying, but it's not. Okay, so I got some multi-purpose scissors. And um, I can't remember how much these were, but I'll put, I'll put everything in my Amazon shop and it'll probably be under school supplies or back to school or I may do another one for interior design so you can find it there and the link will be down below and then also I got this architect scale I wanted a different color one than just a white one and this one is metal I know tomorrow I'm supposed to get a ruler with the cork backing and I got the double pack instead of just a single pack just in case that something happened to it and it was only like three more dollars. Okay, I also got, um, and she said we will really need that ruler and like that ruler more so. Okay, so then I got these prism color markers. I'm glad they came today. These are kind of expensive. I saw that they had them in Staples. They kind of, they had an empty box. <laughs> I guess just, they so expensive. I guess people like steal them or whatever. But the 12 count, they're like $40. These were $44. But I really got them. We needed the ones with a chisel um, in like this. And then you have the fine end, but I needed a black marker. So the very first thing that I did order was just one single black marker. And even though I have one in here, because you know, you can't have enough black pens or black blue pen or a black marker if you need it for class. So that's why I got two. Hey y'all, so I'm really disappointed in my little prism color needed rubber erasers these are 3 dollars i thought i was getting a deal but i didn't um this i guess was supposed to be the medium size and i paid for each one of them separately you know not together but so it's not a pack that's what i want to say so that was 3 dollars each so i'm a little disappointed in that i did get two exacto knives um this one metal one was i think more affordable and it came with or cheaper and it came with blades where this one is a gripster it wasn't that much um more but I, the fact that it was a gripster i went ahead and grabbed this now some things i did see in staples after the fact um like the markers the scale the exacto knife and stuff but it probably would have only saved me or maybe a couple of cents or it was cheaper on Amazon or a dollar or so. So, okay, I got some extra strength glue sticks. I did not see these at um, Staples at all. I didn't see these at all. I had to order some, um, let's see, 14 count sketch pencils. And I probably have to open this up, but I went by the reviews of what other people said and they said these were pretty good. And then lastly for today, I got some, uh, what's this called y'all? This is um, cardstock paper, black. So I get, I have about, how many come in here? 10 and then tomorrow or one day, I think tomorrow the white is supposed to come. So this is 11 by 18, I wanna say. We're trying to go back, no 12 by 18. So this was kind of a little pricey. It was like, I want to say 20, 20 some dollars. I don't remember y'all, but I can tell other design students or other people were buying them because 
it was not that many left. Um, you know, it was saying, but sometimes I think some buyers do that, say it's not that many left. But I don't think it was that many left. But anyway. All right, y'all. I'll see you when the other items come. Okay, that's a little bit better. I turned the light on. 18 by 12 um, cardstock paper. I actually, y'all got sidetracked. And I was supposed to look on Amazon to see what else was coming. I know my marker, prism color marker comes Thursday, which is tomorrow. Yeah. And then something else. I think I ordered my foam paper, foam, uh, pack of foam backing paper, foam core paper, y'all. Um, I think I did. Poster, it's like poster like paper. Y'all know, stuff you get from Dollar Tree. Except I'm not going to get it from Dollar Tree. So, I got the Prism Color um, pencil sharpener. And I could have got this at Staples. So, I did see this at Staples. Um, Staples, the gentleman was really nice. And he ordered this for me, the rubber cement. And I just got the small bottle. Um, I may go ahead and get some spray adhesive. But she said that, you know, it just depends. We have to play around with different, when we have different materials, we have to play around with different adhesives to see what will stick and what won't. So anyway, he ordered this for me because he asked me, did I find everything? And I told him, no, I thought you guys had rubber cement. And um, anyway, so that came super fast because I just went to Staples. Um, my ruler came today. It is two rulers in here. I probably just take one at a time. So um, yeah, one at a time. So it has a cork backing. If you guys can see right there. And then I got a mouse pad because I realized I didn't have a new mouse pad. Um, and it came really quick. Actually, it looked better actually online, but it's fine. Uh, let's see. I did get a flash drive today. This haul probably will be separate from another haul. So I did get a flash drive from Walmart for my computer. So I have a desktop computer, but it's refurbished, put together. I found out in class. I don't know if I said this earlier in another video or not. Uh, the other clips or not. But I found out in class that I'm going to have to get another laptop because my MacBook, which my MacBook, I really got it to edit my videos and I always wanted a Mac. But it is probably, it's one of the newer ones, but it doesn't um, have a lot of space at all. So I run out of space really quick, especially to edit videos. And it's not the, it's not a pro or anything. So anyway, y'all, uh Thought I was, and I usually don't do this, but thought, you know, I was in there with a bunch of young people and now they do the digital thing, y'all. And they, you know, they don't write stuff down, they type. And I'm still old school. I want a textbook. I still want, I think I was the oldest one in the class. I still want to write my notes down. So I pull out a pencil and a notebook and my, and my pen. And then I pull out my MacBook because I'm kind of trying to feel my way around here thinking I was doing something, y'all, flexing a little bit. No, I'm going well. My MacBook don't have a lot of storage on it. So, girl, bye. And so, and I normally don't do that, but I just being transparent with y'all, y'all, because I was in there with these young, young kids and they do stuff different now. They don't even print worksheets out and stuff no more, probably because of COVID too. So, anyway, y'all. So, the teacher says... You know, there are a lot of things that they'll have, which I noticed on my school's website, some of the things or the links are not compatible to, I don't know if it's Microsoft or what. It may be, I have to figure that out, but it's not compatible to Apple. Then I find out that, of course, my computer is not powerful enough or have enough storage enough. It's kind of powerful, but not, not like these gaming computers and the other computers she recommended and watching some of the YouTubers that are in design school. So I was like, oh man, I got to buy a computer and they are not cheap. They are not cheap. So I did mention in a video that I was looking at this gaming computer that was at Costco. So I need to go back and look and look at those or kind of look at them at Sam's and see, cause y'all know sometimes those stores have deals that you can get at other stores that yeah you can get there instead of at other stores and you forget about those stores so um i need one that's at least eight gig and hard drive space no i'm sorry 16 and some other things so i guess i'll need that gaming computer a little bit earlier even though i don't like the aesthetic of a gaming computer but i did want one for sims though i may not have time for sims anyway y'all i know i'm talking a lot but i was just explaining 
the other supplies that I may need. But I'm going to end the video here uh, with my back to school. I love school supplies, y'all. And these are really up my alley. But I'll see you guys in the very next video. Thanks so much for always watching, supporting, rooting me on, y'all going to school and stuff. I'm just, I'm really excited now. So um, thanks so much for watching, y'all. Bye. In whatever we ask, we know that we have the request that we have asked of him. But now write these things in Okay, hopeful. So I was going to end the video but I'm actually may take that part out because when I signed up for this other class, I ended up having to get more supplies. So I think I said that. I don't know if I said it or not. If I did, I'll edit this part out. But what I did was I dropped business administration project management and I picked up my original class, which I was going to originally take, which was DES. Um, what is the name of this class? I keep forgetting. Um, visual Presentation 1. And the only reason why I was hesitant was because I didn't know what my middle son's football schedule was for the summer. And the kids don't start school until until two weeks from classes started so my original class was principal elements in design one and visual presentation but one and for some reason it got dropped and so anyway i didn't want to do three classes next semester i probably will but so i had a whole new supplies to get so, um, but this is for my other class. A lot of the supplies do intertwine. So this is my sketch paper and she actually asked for a roll. And this was kind of more than I thought it was, but it's a lot of paper on here. It was $14. It may have been cheaper on Amazon. So check out Amazon, y'all. But like if you're in interior design classes, but um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and stuff like that. But when I searched online for Michaels, a lot of times, which is the closest craft store to me, they didn't have it. But I do want to go in there tomorrow just to see what type of stuff say, things that they have. So for future purposes. So I got this artist pen. This was on the list for the other class. And this is something else, the extra fine micron, micron pens. These are all black. And she had like the ranges of the tips that we needed. So I got those. Um, this is from Staples. I don't know if I said it or not. I saw these the other day. These are like these envelopes. And Dollar Tree actually sells these. But these actually look thicker. These were $2. And I thought I would put like my loose supplies in them. Maybe separate some stuff. Um... Yeah, that's what I, oh, stuff like this, if I can pull it, stuff like this. So even though it's already in a plastic sleeve, I can, may take this out, put my scissors in here. Um, and then I end up getting this art bin. I was contemplating when I went to Staples. Let me move some of this stuff. So I end up getting three of those pouches, y'all. Uh, two black and one yellow. They need to have more girl colors. <laughs> <laughs> like pink and purple and stuff. But anyway, um, I got this art bin and I was contemplating on getting it or not uh, because it was $20, but I kept looking at it and you can put like all of, I guess like your sharp things, I'm trying to see if this thing is going to focus. You put some of your sharps in here. So I wanted it for um, maybe my scissors, some of my pens. Um, stuff like that. So let me see if I can open this. It has this area right here. And then it has like this divider. And then it has this section here. So let me see if it'll fit my other scissors. What did I do with them? No, they won't quite fit. I don't know if you can move this or not. No, you can't. Well, it does fit. It does fit. So I did... Um, also, you can put your exacto knives and stuff in here. But I ordered one of these prism markers, and uh, this is just nothing but these markers here. And I'm gonna organize these better because I don't like them, them just thrown in here. So we had to have a black 
marker that has a chisel in and this was an entire set you guys saw that but this one was sold individually y'all they put it in a whole big old box by itself but anyway um i think this was like four dollars or three dollars or something like that and i just you could never have enough black pens so that's why i went ahead and grabbed that one um i need to go to michael's and hobby lobby and check out you know what they have but Amazon is so helpful because you don't have to go all over the world and be disappointed that they don't have, they do not have what you're looking for. So this is kind of why I wanted to, I don't mind some of this stuff being in here, but I kind of wanted those pouches to kind of separate stuff. Um, I don't even think I took my Zacto knife. I don't even know why I took this today with me when the Zacto knife is over there on the couch. But anyway, y'all, I will add the rest of my haul and then I will end the video. <laughs>